Well, hello, everybody. My name is Tom Boone. I'm the Associate Director with the Outreach Foundation. It's a privilege to be leading a team back to Pakistan. Uh, for some of our folks, it's the first time that they've been here. And not so with uh, my friend Jim Truesdell. You've been to Pakistan before, right? That's correct. Yeah. Uh, Jim, it's great to have you here. And uh, one of the things we did today, we really just got an overview. It's our first day. So here it is, 9.30 at night, and I'm processing all this stuff uh, without very much sleep. But um, we we heard from our host, Pak Mission Society, right. heard their vision, um, and then we met a bunch of their staff today and some of the young teams. I mean, these are young people working here. Uh, we heard, we met with a bunch of business leaders who they are, are shepherding, and then we went um, the next part of the day was with pastors, and we heard from church leaders and right. had a beautiful dinner. So... Out of all that, Jim, I'm wondering if you could just, what, what, what are you reflecting on right now? Because that was a lot of information. Yeah, so the thing that really sticks out for me is that the church is especially wrestling with the issue of um, how um, the support of uh, churches uh, in other parts of the world have actually uh, hindered their capacity and their resiliency yeah. as uh, as a community, and that they are trying to figure out not just how do we get away from uh, receiving support from um, other churches sure. and becoming self-sustaining, uh, but they're begging the question, not just how are we self-sustaining, but how do we become generous. And that conversation with those business leaders was a conversation about how do we invest in ourselves mm -hmm. so that we're not only self-sustaining, but that we're a generous church. Yes. So we're no longer a church that is receptive and um, dependent mm -hmm. upon others, but we're a community that's blessed and can be a blessing to others. That's powerful and that's a word, yeah. remarkable yeah. transition and that is a transition that only the Spirit of God can bring about. Yeah, it's that, that, I'm glad you picked up on that. One of the things that we really did hear was that they're, they're asking the question, at least. They may not be in a place where they're, that's, that's right. that's they right. have solutions it to that. You don't snap your finger right. and make that switch. Right. But um, they have a vision for they that. Do. And yeah. what they're saying, or at least what I heard them saying is, we need somebody to help us fulfill that vision, not keep us stuck where we are. Yes, yeah. And that, that was well, remarkable. And that came from business leaders, not church and, leaders. And, you know, and that was something that I've told people back home, and I don't know if you, it dawned on you, but when we were with the church leaders, we heard nothing about engagement with the majority community. But when we were with the business leaders, they talked about engagement with with the majority community. That's right. That's right. And I, it, it just was a real interesting thing. And Pac Mission Society is really trying to bridge right. between right. business to and the church uh, in, a, in a context where being a Christian is not easy. Being a church is certainly not easy. And, and how you're trying to survive often, but they're really trying to move. But it's the business side of this. Yeah, Puck Mission out. does not have a survival mentality. No, they don't. Um, what would you I say their mentality is? Well, their mentality is toward flourishing. Yeah. They're not really interested in surviving. Mm -hmm. um, they're really interested in flourishing. Yeah. And, that's, and that's remarkable because everything about the context would say uh, survive. Yeah. Um, and yet I think they've claimed the gospel in such a way that they hear the call of Jesus uh, to flourish, flourish for our neighborhoods, flourish for our ministries, flourish for um, the minority, and flourish for the majority as well. They're, they are definitely not interested in uh, wrapping a coin and burying it in the ground. No, they aren't. And Not I heard you way. talk about that passage today just a little bit ago. Right. Well, Jim, thanks for sharing some quick thoughts, everybody. This is just the first uh, of our of several blogs that you'll you'll receive through this visit. Thanks for following us and uh, keep us in your prayers. Thank you. Bye bye.